Okay, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can um, import um, a video in different ways and how you can turn it into a GIF animation. So the first one I'm going to show you is, is a file import, video frames to layers. And you want to choose your video. I'm going to use this example for um, this tutorial. And then you get the import video to layers box come up. Now this gives you a couple of options. You can import the beginning to the end of the video, like so, or you can choose to import a selected range only to do that. Select that little radio, and then underneath this playhead, there's these brackets. Bring them in, and that will allow you to import just the video in between them two brackets we're going to import the whole lot and you can limit it to a certain number of frames so you can lim what I mean is you can limit it to every two frames so it'll bring in every other frame or every third frame every fourth frame leave it unchecked to import every frame and you can make frame animation or bring it in as a video let's leave it like it is and click OK and you can see it's brought it in and it's made this frame animation and we've got all these frames in fact we've got 51 frames um, what you can do is you can click on this button here which will convert it to the timeline we've still got our animation and here you can if you don't want all these layers like they are you can highlight them all and I've done that by selecting the first, holding down shift and selecting the last, right clicking and choosing to convert to a smart object and that will tidy them all up into a smart object and if you open that smart object then you get all your layers back and we've still got the animation so that's one way to bring it in let's close this you can also just double click and um, got this on the wrong format we want all formats and we can bring it in like so and in this example I'll make a GIF animation out of this now the trick with a GIF animation is basically to have as least amount of colors as possible and if you're concerned about file size the smallest file size uh, the smallest document size so I'm gonna crop this because we don't need all this excess area out here to demonstrate this and then we come to file and save for web and devices now you can do a file save as or a file save and choose the GIF file format but you won't have it as an animation it will be a single um, it, it won't be an animation it will just be an image right uh, there's some options in here I'll go over a few of them you can loop it so forever or you can custom it so you could have it uh, loop five times and there's your play button and that's going to play five times let's just set it to forever if you come to here you got to zoom in and out so like so and it tells you the file size 1.485 megabytes there you've got uh, this flyer here and you can optimize the file size this will let you this will let Photoshop create the most optimum um, animation depending on the file size you put in 2048 so that's just over two megabytes is the biggest file size you can insert into there and you can leave these as so now because we've got the color set to 256 and in this uh, GIF animation or in a GIF animation the maximum amount of colors you can have is 256 that's one of the drawbacks of this file format um, that's about as high as the uh, file is going to get 1.485 megabytes so that optimize we need to set that down to maybe 1000k which is 1 megabyte and there you can see it's lowered the colors to 54 
and our file, so file size is just under one megabyte now. As where we haven't got many colours, if you look at our colour table, they're all very similar. We haven't really lost no quality. But if I was to take this down to two colours, well, it would disappear, but let's try eight. You can see the less colours you get, you lose quality. 32 is fine, it's 800k, probably about the best you're going to get it. You can play with these other options here and they can affect it and you can also change the image size from here. If you don't want to um, change the image size proportionately you can just uncheck that little link sign there. And then you can click save, before you do that you can preview this so you can choose um, a browser and if you have one loaded you can just click on there click on preview and it will preview it in a browser for you click save save it to somewhere on your hard drive and there you'll have a GIF animation uh, I won't do it right now but believe me that's how it's done let's cancel out of that and I'll show you another way of bringing in a video let's create a new document and you can come to layer video layers new video layer from file. The other option is new blank video layer. We don't want that. We want a new video layer from file. Bring it in. Our document ain't big enough to contain this video and we need to just scroll out a little bit. So we've bit, got a bit of room to play with. So we'll get the crop tool and we'll just crop out a little bit. Again, you can crop up. and there is our animation so that's some ways of importing video and how to turn it into a GIF animation thank you for watching